Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the hottest application of the new protocol and potentially of all of Web3, the Here Wallet Telegram app and hot mining. So why is this the hottest product on Nier right now? And it is not just because the token is called hot or because some people say the team is also pretty hot. The reason why this is the hottest product on Nier right now is because they have achieved something that very few people have. They have, since launch, just over 11 days ago, over 1 million users onboarded. If you're not one of them, you're probably missing out. It is the same team that has delivered free USDC and USDT transactions. They have gamified their mobile wallet application a long time ago. They delivered the MetaMask snaps. They integrated with Binance. We can see that they embody the Silicon Valley founder mindset. That's why this move to create a wallet on Telegram is so interesting to me because they met the users where they are and they may have carved a niche. So let's jump in. How to get started with the Here Wallet on Telegram. All you have to do is message the bot and I'll be sharing a referral link so if you haven't joined already and you'd like to support this channel. Once you message the bot, it is super simple. You just have to follow the prompts, create account, and here we encounter the first magic moment. As you're creating a wallet, the Here Wallet team has removed decision making and they automatically populate the same username that you have on your Telegram onto the Here Wallet. This combined with yet another feature which is Near enabling you to have a custom top level domain. Up until now, all wallets on the Near ecosystem had a dot near ending, which means that if you wanted to get a special custom domain such as your name or nickname, it may have been taken, you probably had to go with something like Alejandro 6969420 the second or something. But by creating a custom.tg top level domain, they're able to give every single user their first choice, or at least a username that we know was their choice at some point. Hopefully you don't have a random horrible telegram username. I believe this is also very smart because to me it creates like a level of personal investment. It is not just another random wallet that you're opening because your uncle told you that you could mine some free coins. It is now a wallet that you have a personal connection with. 10 points for Gryffindor. The only other thing to note on the wallet creation is that this is a non-custodial wallet. On the top right, you'll find a button looks like a hexagon with a circle in the middle or something. I don't know, I'm not wearing my glasses. And there you'll have the option to access your seed phrase and back it up. It is highly advisable that you save this seed phrase somewhere safe that you can access it later because if you lose access to it, no one else can help you claim this account. So the next level of gamification with which I love is the performing actions to get free transactions. Near Protocol has something called meta transactions which enable the application or the protocol to pay for the transactions on behalf of its users. But the Hue Wallet team is not fucking around. They weren't just going to give out money nearly willy the team says, hey, we'll give you a set number of free transactions so you can get started. And if you would like an additional tr free transaction, we can bargain, we can trade. And they provide a list of actions that represents value to them in exchange of that free transaction. What are those actions? You can get free transactions by depositing near on the wallet and following them on social media, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram. This was such an incredible, powerful move because... The dirty little secret is that the cost of the transaction is super, super low, yet in a very short amount of time, they were able to amass tens of thousands of followers across all social media. I'd say that right now, they're probably one of the most powerful distribution channels. And I think that there's a lot of opportunity here for them to create additional business models. For instance, I would pay a lot more than the cost of the free transaction to the Here Wallet team for them to include this amazing podcast as part of the actions that users can take to receive free transactions. So let's move on to mining HOT. HOT is a new token from the Hero Wallet. We don't have many details, but what we do know is that this is a fair launch. At the moment, HOT is not transferable and all HOT token is being mined right now by users. So if you want to get a slice of the pie, now would be the time. But why would you want to accumulate HOT? We know that using HOT lets you do real transactions in the blockchain, play games, and pay for transfers. So they've hinted at an ecosystem of Telegram applications. There's also an SDK from the Here Wallet team so that anyone can connect their application to this ecosystem and access these users. So it may be worth accumulating some HOT while it is being distributed through this mining situation. To start mining hot, all you have to do is click on the claim button and you start accumulating already. 
But this isn't for the faint-hearted. This isn't with people with ADHD that are just going to click once and forget and come back and have a shit ton of hot juice waiting for them there. No, this is for the committed users. For This is where the gamification kicks in. Enter storage. See, your wallet happens to have limited storage capacity. So you do start earning hot, but the initial limited tank that has been given to your wallet fills up every two hours, which means that if you want to continue accumulating hot, you have to come back every two hours to empty the tank to clear space for more hot to come in. Even though I think this is very smart in creating a habit in users and getting a lot of transactions on chain, claiming every two hours does get a little bit tiresome and, and it's kind of a torture after a couple of days. But fear not, because you can buy boosts. Boosts allow you to upgrade up to five levels and you go from the standard two hours to level one has three hours. Level 2 has 4 hours, level 3, 6 hours, all the way to 24 hours. And each one of these boosts has a cost, because there's no free lunch in life, kitties. Level 1 is a very affordable 0.2 hot, while level 5 starts getting a little bit pricier at 10 hot. The way that I've been thinking about this is, the opportunity cost of me getting busy with life, and my tank getting full, and me not mining hot for several hours, including while I sleep, is just too high. So to me, it's been worth it to keep paying to boost my storage so that I can continue earning hot and have some mental health while I get on with life, and then I can come back and claim it less often. The upside is that all the hot used for boosts is being burned. But the next option is to increase the speed at which you mine. The default is to earn 0.01 hot per hour. But for only 0.2 hot, you can start to increase the earning capacity. So level one stone fire space gets us up to 0.015 and we go all the way through gas, neon fire space, neon multi fire space, all the way to the gold fireplace that for a seemingly steep price of 15 hot will get us 0.05 hot per hour. You'll have to decide, do you want to have more storage? Do you want to have more mining speed? Do you want to have both? Up to you. And finally, we have the referral system, which is actually the best way to earn hot because it introduces a multi-tier design, which is kind of viral in nature. So you will earn 20% kickback of all the claims that the people that you refer make and 5% kickback of the people that they refer. If you haven't joined already, I would really appreciate if you use my referral link because, I mean, do I really have to explain? And just as I was starting to record this video, the Here Wallet released one additional way to earn, which also introduces gamification and social features. It is mining in villages. Villages is genius in the sense that it basically uses public telegram channels and it sort of courses them. No, that's not the right word. It co-ops them into being part of the Here Wallet ecosystem. All you have to do to establish a hot village is to add the Here bot onto an open public telegram channel and then link that public telegram channel onto the Here Wallet so that people that are already on that Telegram channel, which could be communities, so for instance, I recently joined the Shih Tzu Ape Village, we're already on that chat, we're already talking, and simply by going over to the Here Wallet and linking that Telegram channel, now every time that we claim, the group itself or the village earns, and there will be some features there around a community treasury and the community being able to participate. What I find most interesting is that they have nailed the social status, because now everyone on that group can see everyone else joining, you've got proxy validation, and they also have a leaderboard of all the people in that group, how much hot they have accumulated, so they introduce a friendly competition element. I think there's so much here to unpack on how to do this successfully, I think that this playbook can be replicated by other teams, but that's enough for me today. Friends, let me know in the comment section below if you're mining hot, which strategy do you prefer for the boosts? 
if you have joined a village, which villages have you joined? And most importantly, if you haven't already, but you want to join the fun, be sure to use my referral link. Take care, friends. I'll see you at Denver.